All right, so I'm going to do a little video on uh, Carlos Mota, who's going to be fighting on Saturday's LF, um, UFC card, I'm sorry. And uh, he's going to be fighting short notice against Cody Durden. And I think uh, Carlos, unlike a lot of fighters, he's entering the UFC, but he's ready to fight the best flyweights in the world right now. And uh, I think Saturday, what you're going to see is uh, he's a very unique fighter. He has great speed. Um, great stand-up. He's a very good black belt in jiu-jitsu. He uh, trains wrestling very heavily. Um, so he's uh, very well-rounded. He's much like Charles Oliveira in that, you know, he came from the favelas. You know, he grew up without a father. His mother died when he was like three or four years old. So he basically uh, spent time, you know, living from home to home and on the streets. And one other thing that's unique about him is that his coach, Francisco Bueno, who's kind of an old, old school uh, MMA figure, you know, Francisco's fighting in the, in the 90s in shows like Pride and other shows, uh, shows in Brazil and also some of the underground fights in California. And uh, Francisco pretty much only trains Carlos. Carlos is like his only fighter that he works with heavily. You know, he has a school and uh, he has schools in Brazil. But Carlos is the only fighter that he's training, and his goal is specifically for him to be champion in the UFC. So they live in Las Vegas about half of the year. They do most of their training together, although he does set up sparring with, you know, great fighters from like Bellator, UFC, some of these other events. And uh, Carlos is a guy that you should keep an eye on. This is a guy that I think you're going to see uh, competing, contending for a title at flyweight. Uh, it, it won't take him too long to get there, I think.